Hello everyone, it's me Evan, and welcome back to the channel. So, I have here in front of me three missiles. This one here was the very first guided missile that I made. As you can see, it relies entirely on flaps for all of its stability, aerodynamics, and steering. It's got a pretty good proxy fuse on it. Uh, that is very consistent just because it, it, you know, well, it's a proxy fuse. It only sees like maybe like yay far out, like somewhere in there. This next one here is basically still my, this is my most effective one, um, despite it being not quite as new as this new missile, which I'll get to in a second. But this one here is very consistent. It's basically all foam. It's got a ton of flaps right in the nose and it steers with these bricks back here. So then, oh yeah, we've also got a little set of four there. Those are for the proximity fuse. 15 meters, maybe about uh, yeah, somewhere in here. And then this is our newest contender. Uh, like this last one, it uses aerodynamic bricks for its actual control surface. As you can see. Unlike this one, it has no flaps at all. This allowed me to basically make a design that is one by one. This will fit into a one by one tube. And there's no guarantee you'll get it out of a one by one tube, but it will fit inside of one. Um, and it just makes it so that this thing is basically extremely stackable. Before, in the past, when I've mounted these missiles, this one, I had one of them, and it was only on one side of the aircraft. <laughs> The other side had a little flap thing to make up for some of the lift, but if I had two of these things, the second you launch one off, it would the plane would become so unbalanced that even an automatic roll system would have real trouble um, accounting for that. With this one, you actually, I mean, it was, this one you could account for, for it with an automatic roll system. Uh, so this one actually, I have a, a plane that has two of these that will show you. So if we go down, down, down to the garter guided, here it is. So this thing, oops, <clears throat> this thing is where it's really at because it's got both of these. Yeah, let's uh, respawn this tank here. You can see we can we can launch these off right off the ground very very controllable I'm not even gonna try to demonstrate yeah you can see the good effect on target I mean just look at that man very sad but yeah he can you can carry two of those I mean you could carry more but it'd be a massive burden on your aerodynamics to have all these flaps under your wings and not to mention you're launching them off so that's basically just a, a big no-no and so the really cool thing about this cookie cutter Mark One, that's what I'm dubbing this one by one missile. It, it's very small, very stackable, and it has basically no effects on your total aerodynamics. So as you can see, there's four of them on here. And <laughs> you can hear the storm of actuators. If we pause the game here, you can see they are all controlling at once, but since the plane is big enough, it doesn't care uh, that they're trying to steer. So basically, it just has, these things have no effect, or almost no effect, on the aerodynamic qualities of this plane. Let's just take off here. And I will show you. Now, unfortunately, because these ones are so small, and they use only bricks they basically have to be launched from the air they can't do a ground launch 
consistently. However, they are more consistent when it comes to air launching. Because that they have no flaps, uh, and they're relatively fast and smooth, they won't stick to the underside of your wing. So even if, like let's say I'm, I'm doing this, I'm pitching up and I'm turning. This is about the worst case because for other missiles, you basically have problems where you collide with the wing and it gets stuck. But with this one, I can be in this, launch it off, and it'll actually clear the plane. And we're gonna level out the plane real quick so we don't crash it, but Yep, and then we can take control of five. We're actually taking control of technically all of them, but since only one is launched, only one will be guided. Unfortunately, uh, as of now, there is no roll control. Uh, and if we pause and look at this, you can actually see that our roll is being or at least attempting to be canceled by these fold-out fins in the back here. Building this small has a lot of uh, design considerations, we'll say. Um, you basically have to just trust that it won't roll around that much. Additionally, uh, you can see I kind of have to fight the pull. Since it's got no flaps, it behaves like things should. Um, I can turn if I want to, but, ah, shoot. So sometimes, oh, apparently that, uh, that roll pattern was a bit too severe. Hmm, interesting. All right, by plane. Uh, I'm still alive. All right, I'll take it. Oh, we're missing another missile. Uh, okay. I probably shouldn't have left it on max throttle. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Let's, let's try launching off another one at the tank. Because these are so small, they don't get any proximity fuse, which makes scoring hits uh, a bit harder. And basically, you don't want to try and use these on, against aircraft at all. Like, that, they're really not designed for that. Um, well, initially the idea was to make them for such things, but it's so hard to get maneuverability in this small of a package that it's better to just use them for ground attack. So if you're host and you don't want to strafe an annoying AA player or whatever, you can just send one of these their way. And, uh, well, you can see what you can do about that. So let's uh, get back to our plane. As you can see, even our <laughs> damaged uh, state, we're still up in the air. We've got one left that we can launch off here. We're probably just going to want to level ourselves out. Again, you're leaving your plane unattended during this whole process, which isn't recommended just generally. But for the utility you get, you can be flying high above the ground without too much of a danger of crashing while you launch these at distant ground targets. You can turn them around and hit planes with them. But without a proxy fuse, it's quite uh, harrowing, I think is the word. But you can see, they, they do pretty hefty damage when they get there, despite being so small. Um, you could theoretically put it in a launch tube, or they, they'd be great, for instance, for internal weapon bays. So I've been experimenting with some planes having an internal weapons bay. Let me actually grab a prototype for you guys. Uh, do, do, let me <laughs> clear these. Okay. Let's see here. I think it's uh, not too far down, isn't it? Oh, come now. Do, 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 do. Are you kidding me? Where is this thing? There it is. So, this was basically just a concept for weapon bays flares, that kind of stuff. You can see it's got a single large uh, guided missile in the bay. But with these little tiny cookie cutter missiles, I could probably fit like six of them in here. Like, may okay, maybe not six. That might be an exaggeration, but a lot. 
<laughs> I could put a lot of guided ordnance in this plane, or or a similar design. Um, as long as you've got space for it, you could stack them in. And since it's as long, like if we actually import this here, you can see it's pretty much the same length as my prior model. I mean, it's a little bit longer, but not by much. So you're basically looking at, you know, if you stagger them so they don't attach to each other, right? One, two, three, basically six if you get clever with your stacking, which would just be insane. Uh, just a massive arsenal of guided munitions for a plane to carry. So I I'm pretty hopeful for the future of these, and I'll try and develop them to be more maneuverable and useful as we go. I might even figure out a way to get them a good proxy fuse. But uh, yeah, for now, that's all I've got. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tech demonstration, demo, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what my content is. It, I just do stuff and put it on camera. So I hope you guys enjoy whatever the heck it is I'm doing um, because I'm certainly enjoying doing this. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.